Okay, if you haven't already, make sure you get to your supply list assignment on the Zombie Apocalypse Quest. Go to Assignment and open it in Google Classroom. And here's what you're going to need to do. And if you have this done before class, even better. You can do this um, during class before I start rolling the dice. So if you go here, you can find your name and see how much water, that's the first column, and how much food you have. Then you're going to open up right here your document, and if it's already been turned in, unsubmit, because if you don't unsubmit, you won't be able to type. Anytime you have a Google Classroom assignment, unsubmit it so you can go back to typing on it. All right, so let's pretend I haven't bought anything yet. Uh, you write down how much food you have. Remember, food is the second column. And how much water, so chances are you're going to have more water than food. Now you're going to go here to Hazad Items. This tells you how much everything is worth. So figure out, with the amount of food and water you have, what can you afford? Food and water are both worth the same. They're both worth one. So if I've got 10 food rations and 15 water bottles, I have 25 food. So what can I buy? If you've got way too many things, you can only carry two. So if you need to carry a chainsaw, a beaver bomb, a first aid kit, and you want to carry some water, spend the money on a backpack uh, because then it'll be worth your while. If you don't have that much you can buy, don't spend the money on the backpack. Uh, if you can afford a Bieber bomb or a zap grenade, those allow you to re-roll your lowest die or dice. I'm going to roll five six-sided dice, so any of these three are really good. And then the first aid kit's very necessary because food and water gives you no bonuses. So when I roll the dice, if you didn't spend any of your food and water, if I check your scorecard and this is all blank, whatever you get is your score when the dice roll, that's your initial and final score. But if you say, all right, I'm gonna buy a chainsaw, and that's minus 14, so that still leaves me 11, and then I'm going to buy, I'm going to use six more to buy two first aid kits. Ooh, I can't buy two because I can only carry the chainsaw and something else. So I should get, yeah, a beaver bomb. So let's see. That's 14 and 12. That's 26. Oh, I can't afford it because I only have 25. Oh darn, so I guess I can buy 22, I can get a zap grenade and a beaver bomb. So let's get rid of that. I'll get one. And one, and I can only carry two items, so items used, that's what I'm going to put down here. A zap grenade and a beaver bomb. So when I look at your scorecard, uh, even if you're not in class, I know that you will re-roll. You have the option for Zap Grenade. You can re-roll your lowest dice, and then with a Bieber Bomb, you can re-roll two more. So having a Bieber Bomb and a Zap Grenade is like having a chainsaw. It does the same thing. So this is going to work great. Uh, and I can carry two things, and I spent the food and water, which I can't carry with me anyway, so I might as well spend it. So this is how you can get ready to use uh, your scorecard in class when I roll the dice.